Citizen Machinery UK open house. This is day one. Fantastic machines. There's 16 of them all being showcased. But I thought, what's best than to actually look at the components and manufacturing? Isaac, you're the man. First of all, the L12, one of the most popular mach sliding head machines in the world. What yeah. have you got here? So this is a, a kind of a miniature connecting rod bolt. Uh, so quite simple, but beautifully machined. Uh, so we've got some engraving, also some Torx milling on the back, a T25, and a nice rolled thread in a, in a stainless material. Excellent, great example of a nice small component manufacturer on the L12. Now, next machine, walk this way. Now, this, I'm reliably informed, the D25 is the first, it's got well, Mitsubishi 800, full five axis simultaneous controls, is that correct? That's right, yeah, so full five axis simultaneous, like you say, yeah. uh, 800 series with a touch screen as well now, so much more usable. Um, now, this isn't a great example of the full five axis, unfortunately, but it is a great example of uh, components you can manufacture on it. Absolutely. So we're really showing the speed of the machine, speed of the control. Uh, so a, a hydraulic spool type part, lots and lots of simultaneous uh, and overlap features uh, using the, the double gang with the, the extra Z2 uh, for all overlap machining. Nice. Great, great component. And a great example of a type of components you can manufacture on here. Someone said to me, if you wanted to manufacture a teapot, all the curves and things like that, this would be perfect for it. I know you probably wouldn't machine a teapot, but anyway, just, just so you can visualize it. Now, this, the B&E 51, what's special about this machine? Uh, so this machine, very highly productive, two turrets, again, lots of overlap capability with the extra Z3, X3 axis. Uh, so we're making a, a very, very fast component here, a hydraulic body type part, uh, with simultaneous engraving from the upper and lower turrets. Uh, you know, many, many features, cross holes, three threads in the part as well. So again, very, very fast, very, very productive. Okay, so that's a machining, one turret, but both, both spindles at the same time? Absolutely, so using one turret on both spindles, uh, and then the second turret is following along okay. uh, to do a third a Technical term for that, sorry? A superimposed machining. Thank you very much. But do you need all sorts of special code or just one button on this machine? Really easy, machining patterns take care of everything, very simple mm -hmm. G-code, the machine does all the hard work. Fantastic, well, no more than you expect from a Citizen Milano machine. So, next one, Isaac here. Now, this is, let me get this right, the L32 Type 8, but LFE, first in the country, and look what it's been making. Yeah, exactly, so uh, an aluminium uh, connector shell type part, it's 6082C6, so you know, quite stringy, really using that LFE uh, to get fantastic swarf control on this. Okay, a lot just to clarify, there. sorry, LFE, low frequency vibration, just for those of you who don't know what that is, just confirm quickly. Absolutely, so LFE is as oscillation of the uh, machine axis, uh, synchronized with the spindle rotation. Uh, so we're getting perfect out of phase chipping, so we can 100% control that chip every time, no problem. Okay, so perfect for this type of part because a lot of material removal and tricky material. Exactly that, exactly. A lot of, me lot of metal removal, a lot of complex features with small tools. We don't want lots of stringy swarf in there, and uh, LFE takes care of all of that. Isaac, fantastic examples of some of the components you can manufacture on these machines. That's four of the 16. One more I'd like to look at is, now let me get this right, the BNA 42 GTY LFE. Let's go and have a look at that. Yes, let's go. Right over there. So, one of the real showcase machines here. Isaac, a little bit about it, please. Yeah, so BNA 42 GTY machine. Uh, with LFE. With LFE, that's right. So, 42 millimeter capable, the biggest LFE machine. Um, and still in a really small footprint, uh, really productive machine with a turret and a gang tool post construction. Uh, it's, it's a real hybrid machine, so a hybrid, uh, almost like a sliding head, moving headstock machine, uh, but still with the, uh, you know, the big solid build construction of a fixed head machine. Box so in terms of solid, solid, uh, the guideways, box guideways? Box guideways, yeah. you can see them right here, quite clearly in the machine. Yeah. And then you're saying it's a hybrid, so not sliding head, it's gonna take that big bar, the headstock will actually move though. That's right, so we've got a, a fixed gang tool post like a sliding head lathe, uh, but no guy bush in this, uh, just a big fixed uh, yeah. moving headstock with a hydraulic chuck, proper clamping, proper right. cutting power. So real powerhouse. Absolutely, okay. real production powerhouse. Now moving on then, a nice component you manufactured here with the benefit of LFE. Talk us through this one, please. That's right, so this is a type of uh, hose barb connector uh, part, again in 6082 aluminium, uh, so stringy. Uh, we've got some fine profiling on the outside and the LFE really helping here. Uh, to avoid wrapping up around these barb features, uh, particularly here on a clamping surface for a second op. We don't want any swarf marks in the LFE, giving really good control there. Excellent. Isaac, we've looked at five of the 16 machines, fantastic examples of the components you can manufacture on these. Thank you very much. If you want to see all the machines, get yourself down to Citizen Machinery, Open House, down in Bushy.